Mindray, healthcare within reach. Replacing a TM80 on a kist to use server, version R3 or greater. To begin, we must first remove the problematic TM80 from Benevision. Select the Mindray drop-down menu located in the top left corner of the screen. Select System Setup and use the arrows to navigate and find the Device Management tab. Enter your current password or contact tech support for further assistance. Locate the problematic TM80 from the device list and select the minus button to remove it. Please note, removing from the server will automatically delete its configuration on all workstations. This needs to be manually added back once it's replaced. Once removed, we may now begin the process of replacing the TM80. The cloning procedure will require two telemetry transmitters. On the left is a hospital configured TM80 that is currently running. We'll call this TM80A. On the right is a factory default replacement TM80 provided by Mindray. We'll call this TM80B. On TM80A, select the menu button located at the bottom right of the telly. Scroll down and select maintenance. Enter your current password and select Accept or contact Tech Support for assistance. In Maintenance, select Defaults. In Defaults, we are going to select Export Device Settings, but before we do that, we must have TM80B set up to receive those settings, otherwise a timeout can occur. On TM80B, select the language of choice. In this example, we'll use English. Select Import Settings. In the Device Name field, you can either keep the serial number as the device name, or assign a unique identifier to match the sequence of your facility. For this example, we are naming it Mindray, and when you're done, select Accept. Now that both devices are prepared, we may begin the cloning process. At the same time, press Import Device Settings on TM80B, and back on TM80A, we will now press Export Device Settings. Once the device is located, you will see the TM80B appear on the Devices Found list. Select the Devices checkbox and select Export to begin the cloning process. You will get a notification it's complete on both TM80s. TM80B will go through an automatic reboot to begin reconfiguration. Once it reboots, TM80B will now be mirroring TM80A's configuration. You may remove TM80A since it now served its purpose delivering its configuration to TM80B. The only settings that need to be configured manually after the cloning is the IP address setup under Network Setup. Select Main Menu. Scroll down and select Maintenance. Enter your current password and select Accept or contact Tech Support for assistance. Select Network. Select IP Address Setup. You will enter the same IP address from the TM80 that this TM80B is replacing. Change your subnet mask and default gateway to match the other TM80. Select Confirm once you know your network settings are correct. Wait for the wireless icon to go from having a red X to having a signal. If your TM80 doesn't join after a couple of minutes, Double check your network settings and make sure there are no typos. Re-enter the password for good measure and contact tech support for further assistance 
if you cannot get a connection. Once you've confirmed all network settings and have a good Wi-Fi signal, we will now admit the new TM80. The following will take place in Benevision's graphic user interface. In Benevision, select the MindRay drop-down menu located in the top left corner of the screen. Select System Setup and use the arrows to navigate and find the Device Management tab. Enter your current password or contact tech support for assistance. The Device Manager's right column has the option to filter by department or you can select all. From the list, Locate your new device by the device name, which in this case is MindRay. Then select the green plus icon to add the device. You will see in the table the TM80's display now showing on the dedicated tile. Your TM80 replacement at your central station is now complete. Proceed to add this device at the appropriate workstations. From MindRay, thank you for watching.